Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I'm going to discuss how to extract the content that is the response content. For that, again, I will take the help of HTTP response message class. So inside this class, there is a property called content that will return us the type of HTTP content. So I'm going to use this property to fetch the data. So HTTP response message dot content. This will return as the type as HTTP content. And let me call it as response content. Now look at the documentation of HTTP content. So inside this class, there is a method called read as string async. I'm going to use this particular method to read the content from the response. So response content dot read as string async. Now, if you look at the return type of this method is of type task, as we know that the task class is a generic class and currently the argument to this generic class is string. Okay. So this will be the return type of re read as string async method. Data. Okay. So as we already discussed earlier, this is a generic class and inside this class, there is a property called result, which is going to return as the same type what what is supplied as an argument to this generic class. Okay. So in our case, the result will return as the type string because that is an argument to this generic class. Okay. Which you can see from the documentation of HTTP content class. Okay. So this is the return type. So now I will use response data dot string and this is going to return as the type sorry response data dot result which is going to return as type as string and this is the data and let me print this data so console dot write line data and I'm going to do the same piece of code inside the one more test method where we are calling the invalid URL. So this is done. Just build your solution and run the test method. So the execution is done. So this is the method where we are trying to call the endpoint which is not present so you can see here this is the response data okay and similarly this is where we are trying to call the get endpoint which will fetch all the detail present inside the container so you can see this is the response content okay so in this manner using the http content you can read the response content